Hello you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Bianca and today I'm going to be talking about why I decided to become a CNA in nursing school and i um, pretty much just going to talk about that. So if you want to know why I decided to become a CNA and honestly why I think you should do, um, do it too while you're in nursing school, stay tuned to keep on watching. Also, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe right. with your friends and family. And um, if you have any particular requests, be sure to drop it down below. Let's get into it. That was one of the biggest reasons is because of the work flexibility and the, avail <clears throat> and the opportunity to pick up overtime if need be or if I, um, you know, if I was on vacation or on break, which I never work on break. Let me just put that out there. But if I was on break, I know that I could work and um get over time and etc etc so that was like one of the main reasons because the flexibility and i was really craving that because uh, my nursing program every 12 weeks it changes up and we have a different schedule different com clinical days and clinical components and all that jazz and so i couldn't could i could not could not could not could not um stick to a nine to five Monday through Friday because it just would not work for me. And so the CNA was the next best thing. In the thing. state of Florida, you're allowed to challenge the test. So you don't have to go through a whole um, 12 week or nine week or three or five or six week nursing, um, nursing assistant course. And that was very um, appealing to me because I did have experience when I used to live in New Jersey I became a home health aide, and so I did have a little bit of experience on taking care of people. And so I, at least I knew the book side of it really well. So when I was able to challenge the exam, I was very happy because I ended up saving myself like almost a thousand plus dollars. And I'll link a card right here on the top of the screen so you can check out that video on how I challenged the state exam in Florida. And so probably so that way. So that way you can do the same thing too and save like a ton of money. So uh, third reason why I decided to, um, you know, become a CNA in Florida is because, <clears throat> a CNA in nursing school is because I wanted to pretty much like kind of get experience and kind of see how it works in the hospital and kind of like watch the nurses without them knowing that I'm watching them um on how like my typical day would work like as a nurse in a hospital acute care or a nursing home to see like what i would be doing on a daily basis and so i wanted to start getting that experience and seeing little things and also i wanted to be able to improve my time management because as you know as a cna you are you have a ton of patients not a ton i'm over exaggerating but depending on what shift you work you can have anywhere from 8 to 16 patients and this of course is between hospital and um, long-term care facilities because those amounts vary work with the nurses and kind of see what they need and so that way when I become a nurse and I have you know s s nurses um, techs that are working with me I know what it's like to be a tech and I know that you know if I can put a patient on bedpan while the tech is in another room I'm gonna do it and be like hey you know take this patient off when you're finished you know just so that way I'm not deemed as a n lazy nurse um, plus they always say uh, nurses who were CNAs or techs before usually make really great nurses because we know what to look for we know how to do you know that one-on-one -on -one care and we also know what questions to ask our patients build those relationships with our patients that our nurses and definitely doctors don't have so my fourth reason honestly this is probably like the biggest reason why um, I decided to do it is because as a CNA slash tech, but preferably when you have your CNA license and you're applying for a tech position, you actually get in it. You have not only do you have an advantage, but you get to put your foot into the door with a hospital system that you want to work with. Right now, I work for an HCA hospital, HCA, which is the largest hospital corporation. It's actually called, I believe, HCA stands for Hospital Corporation of America. I work for one of their facilities and um, I will say this like 
it's awesome that I have my foot in the door and that if I ever wanted to transfer to another state and um, you know start an RN residency program I know that I work with it since I'm within this company the odds of me getting that position or transferring into that position is going to be seamless because I was just talking with a co-worker last time I worked um, she just finished her RN program and she get she passed her NCLEX and she applied to um, she applied for the nurse residency program at our hospital and um, for an ICU position and she got it. And like, that's like right off the bat. You know how easy it is to like transfer a current employee, an existing employee into another department under a new name. Like they already know what is what, how is that? So like, I figured I would just give myself an upper hand, um, on that so that's why I decided to start with them also because like in a hospital you tend to see a lot of things and you can kind of like shadow ask tons of questions and um, all the above so those are my main reasons as to why I decided to become a CNA while in nursing school I highly 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 recommend it I think it's so worth it I think the experience that you'll gain is very very valuable and I think you won't be disappointed it may be tough at first I'm not gonna lie take some adjusting but I promise like soon as you get the hang of it you're gonna be like oh I'm so happy like you start to build rapport with your high managers and just like it's just trust me do it okay so that is the reasons why I think you should become a CNA while you are in nursing school and mainly the reasons why I decided to do it um, so if you have any other questions or anything like that be sure to leave it down below be sure to follow me on Instagram I always load up that description bar every single time with a video with some helpful links that I think you guys would enjoy so please don't <laughs> so please don't neglect that box and check it out so thank you so much and I will see you in another video bye bye